blessings to you family welcome back everyone i pray that this word blesses you today i believe that it really will it's going to bring you some clarity and give you some guidance much needed guidance this is one of those words that the lord was just speaking to me at around two two three o'clock in the morning and he was talking to me an awful lot so i have several other words that are coming up so make sure that you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on all right but today specifically the lord was saying this he or she has already made their decision so you need to stop waiting for them to choose you when their decision is already evident now this is a big one for a lot of you now I, I, I want to kind of lead you in gently with saying this I know sometimes God will give you a direction to wait to be still as it relates to a relationship even to a friendship of some sort or you know something along those lines but for other others of you you got to make sure that that's really the Lord telling you to wait. You don't want to keep waiting and waiting and waiting when God is saying this person has already made their decision. It's evident by how they act. It's evident by the things that they say or don't say or the things that they do or don't do. And so instead of you wasting your own time and effort waiting on them, then God is saying they've made their decision. Now it's time for you to move on. Now, I will say this. I believe that God is a redeemer of time. I really do believe that. So for those of you who maybe you feel like you have been waiting and you feel like, man, you know, nothing came of it. Or, you know, I finally realized the truth that they, they're, they've moved on. So now it's time for me to move on. Ask the Lord to redeem that time. And this is the other key thing. When God redeems time, sometimes it's not how we think that it's going to be. Sometimes the redemption of time is simply that you gained wisdom. Thank you, Lord. That you gained that clarity and knowledge and understanding so that then the next time that this comes around, if it comes around again, whether it's that particular person or someone else, now you have the understanding so that you won't go through that same cycle of waiting and hoping that they choose you. And again, like I'm saying, this is not just for romantic relationships. Absolutely that as well, but also for friendships. So I pray that you would take this before the Lord. Let him speak to you more about it if you need to. But, but also this, remember, sometimes God tells us these confirmations, y'all. And then we keep saying, I need more confirmation. I need to take this before the Lord more and more and more and more. When he's already letting you know. So let that be allow yourself to receive that rest in that truth and understanding and let go of what you need to let go so that you can truly move on all right family well, i love you all i pray that you have a blessed day and i'll talk to you soon